Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me for Singapore FinTech Festival coverage is Hans Brown, Head of Enterprise Innovation and Chief Information Officer for Corporate Technology at BNY Mellon to discuss digital innovation in financial services. Hans, it's great to meet you virtually. Welcome to Trade Talks. Thank you very much for having me, Jill. I'm really excited to be here as well. Tell us about BNY Mellon's approach to partnerships and collaboration. So BNY Mellon's approach to partnerships can be summarized into one really concise word, which is we're open to the world. A real focus on being open and bringing capabilities that exist outside of our ecosystem into our ecosystem to complement the good, the services that we offer to all of our clients. And in doing so, creating a really open, really modular, really componentized based approach to services that our clients find useful and that help them achieve their investment successes. What's next in terms of digital innovation in financial services? So I think what we're going to see in financial services is going to be a real kind of transition and a digitization of the existing offering. So if I kind of look at organizations that have done digitization really, really well and have come through that cycle, I think financial services is going to be next within there. So whether that's the inclusion of digital assets in the digital asset class, how we look at improving the existing infrastructure rails, how we look at bringing things like ESG right to the forefront, how will you make better use of data analytics and AI and the creation of services and also with the automation of existing services and delivering new insights, whether it's to portfolio managers or to asset managers or to asset owners, especially in our industry, I think that's going to be that next really, really big wave. And Hans, I'd like to ask you for some insight from the Singapore FinTech Festival. What were the key takeaways that you got from the Apex Oxygen session? So. Apex Oxygen, and I'm going to a real fan of what the Singapore ecosystem has been able to achieve in such a short period of time. And we're members of Apex. We, you know, we're as an organization, we're heavily committed and we're invested in the success of you know what happens within Asia, which is one of our fastest growing, one of our fastest growing markets. And the energy and the insights that we've seen from the the new emerging fintech companies that are basically on board on platform, the ease of use that platform offers. We ran a global hackathon, the first ever global hackathon in the middle of the pandemic. We ran it virtually across the Apex platform. It basically allowed us to be able to access fintechs across Asia, across Europe, across North America, across Latin America, to actually come in and suggest solutions to three problem statements that we curated from entirely within our, within our um, company. So really, really, excited by just the capability of the platform, the energy it brings, and what it basically gives to all of the fintechs that are out there that are looking to complement organizations such as ours. And I think that's what's exciting, the silver lining to the pandemic, if you will, all those investments in technology and all the innovation that are coming to the forefront, all these trends that have been accelerated. So Hans, I wanna ask you to wrap up here. Give us a sneak peek into what the main summit session was about. So. If I kind of look, we had two, we had two main, we had three main summits that we had within where we participated as an organization. So Roman spent a lot of time talking with uh, Facebook about just that next wave. What does it mean to basically marry the successes of a 260, 235 year old innovator with what essentially is a young upstart in Facebook Financial and the real synergies in terms of how those things are actually converging. That was really, really great. And the other part that I was actually really kind of impressed me and I is just the role of sustainability in what we do, whether it's sustaining innovation and sustaining digitization within organizations or creating ecosystems that actually sustain in effect what, where we live, you know, based that alliance of values that are at, that are also aligned to us. How do we basically make sure that we're being good custodians of this very planet that we live on? So I kind of really was excited about just that real pivot. It's no longer just dollar cents or, you know, dollar cents or Rembi or pounds. It's just, it's about how do we look at pivoting to create sustainability in its wider sense? It's when, how do we look at inclusion? How do we look at who gets left behind? How do we look at equality? How, all of those things and asking those real systemic questions that we probably should have been asking all those lines or amplifying those questions that were being asked is something that I really enjoyed tremendously. Yeah, that's encouraging yeah. to hear. And again, one of those silver linings is what we've learned with technology and the ability to pivot from work from home will certainly lead to those diverse and inclusive workforces. Hans, it's great to meet with you. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks and thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ.